Good afternoon, learners, and welcome to this afternoon's um, transmission of financial mathematics for grade 12. This is always a very daunting question in the paper. People struggle with it. So this afternoon, I'm going to ask you to pay careful attention, to send me your questions if you are struggling, and to participate in this lesson as far as you possibly can. I have prepared some slides for you to make it easier. And you know, there's so much reading involved in financial mathematics. So I want you to read carefully with me, look at the formulas that I'm going to use. And if you should have any questions, please send them through to me. Just before I start, a very, very warm welcome to Bridgeton Secondary School, Modedam, Sizimizela. I have Sinyongo High School, Atlanta Secondary School, Ella High School. Welcome learners, I am so proud of you for coming on a Sunday afternoon to come and listen, to come and learn because you want to reach success in life. So without any further ado, let's start with our financial mathematics, grade 12. I'm going to do a little bit of revision of simple interest. And then I'm going to go to compound interest. Then we're going to do future value. And then we're going to do present value. So I want to look at four things this afternoon. It's quite a lot, but I'm going to see if we can get through everything. Remember, participate, have your calculators out, have your pens, your papers in front of you, and we're ready to go. So the first thing we're going to look at this afternoon, I'm going to go to my first slide, is simple interest. If you look at the simple interest formula, you will see that A is equal to P, open bracket, 1 plus I times N. What does all these letters stand for? I think you know already, but just to let you see again, A is for your future value. Remember, future value is what you are waiting for. Pre the P is the present value. Present value is what you are going to start with. Your future value is what you're going to end off with. Remember, you're waiting for that. I is your interest rate and N is your number of years. So everybody, that's your simple interest formula, and we're immediately gonna go to our first example. Now remember I said, have your pens ready, have your calculators ready, because you are going to do the first few examples with me as it is old work that we've done maybe in grade 10 and grade 11. So you're gonna do these examples with me, and here comes our first example. Our first interest, simple interest example says, remember very carefully you have your formula, 4,000 Rand is invested in a savings account. For how many years? For eight years. So first of all, calculate how much money will be in the account if you're, if you're going to get simple interest at 10% per annum. You saw the word simple interest, you immediately write down your simple interest formula, which says A is equal to P, open bracket, 1 plus I times N. Now everybody, you're also writing this formula down. Remember you are looking for, they say calculate how much money, so you're looking for A. You do not have A. What is P? Everybody, P is 4,000. You substitute 4,000 into the place of P. 1 plus, what is my interest rate? My interest rate is 10%. If you are going to put 10 in this formula, you are going to make a huge mistake. Remember, it is 10%. So it is 10 divided by 100. That is going to be your I. So 10 divided by 100 gives me 0, comma. 10 divided by 100, everybody on their calculators, and it gives me 0, comma 1. The N we said at the beginning is for your number of years. And in my sum, it says that I'm investing this money for how many years? For eight years. So put it in a little bracket. If you do this on your calculator, everybody send through your answers to me quickly. Your answer should be, let me just see. Um, let's see, Clittersville is also here. I'm, welcome there. I'm welcoming them. 7,200. I got some beautiful answers there. Fantastic. Nikita Walters, you got 7,200. Vinique, 
School 141, that's fantastic. Lolo, you got 7,200. I'm getting so many 7,200. 7, so simple interest seems to be no problem. Remember simple interest? When are you going to use the simple interest formula? When you see the word simple interest. You don't see compounded. You just see simple interest. You write your formula down and you substitute. And your answer there, everybody, 7,000. 200. Joshua, just, just make sure quickly, you got an answer of 8,574. You're way off by 1,374 and 36 cents. Just check that you have punched in your values correctly, please, Joshua, and that you have used your brackets. Okay, so that is simple interest.